And we are live. Sorry about two minutes late. I had to, uh, I realized I forgot the hackle. So yeah, I just found that one, a black one. <clears throat> so just gonna prepare that. Wings are done. There you go. So I can prepare the hacker later when we tying. Hi, Monty. Yeah, today back to normal. Uh, it was really hard to uh, to get the, the camera focusing, uh, tying in hand, uh, and if not close up, then nobody will see what I'm doing anyhow. So yeah. So so let, let's just continue as we do normal videos but live so let me change the camera angle so we're going to focus on this hook today and the hook of course is from uh, graham kelly uh, same as all always almost one of my favorite hooks to tie on <coughs> so let's begin i just gonna uh, pick up the the pattern description uh, Good source for the uh, patterns are flypattern.org. So we're gonna start with the silver tinsel. I go with extra small. So I'm just gonna add some wax to the thread. Oh, that's not the wax. Come on, <laughs> that's the wax. I hope you're having a nice day, David, as well. Tying flies and enjoy the free time. So let me add the tinsel. There we go. I just tie the whole thing in. Doesn't matter really. It's too, so thin anyhow. So a few tight tight wraps then with the, the tinsel. We're gonna go with the I think three turns or something. Whoops. Slippery. Just gonna put some pressure on it with the nails. There we go. Hi, Walter. I hope you're having a great day as well. Yeah, I just start a video, so it's early in. So just gonna tie the whole thing in until there. Just using the materials to build up the body slightly. There we go. So going back again. And we wanna have a bit of uh, Canary yellow silk. <clears throat> Hi, Jan. How are you? The same here, just tying in the material, using it to even out the body. So. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Tight wraps. And they're back with the thread. And same here, I'm going to use the material instead of just cutting it away. I use it to even out up to the the cute I got. Oh, substitute at least. And then back with the thread. And today I'm tying with a green thread, as you might see. It doesn't really matter which color, as long as it doesn't, you know, shine through the silk, etc. So I'm just building up a small foundation here with the thread to uh, meet the the height of the silk. Just providing a nice base of uh, the tail. There we go. <clears throat> Just waxing the thread a bit. So, tail time. I prepare the tail as always. So let's just tie that one in. There we go. And then we have buried wood duck for the tail. Summer duck. But yeah, that's the same. That's going to take out a small section from each side. Yeah, the fishing season is uh, coming close. But uh, yeah, I would say May when it starts here in Sweden at least. I think in the beginning of May up north, um, it can be quite cold. So I prefer to wait a bit. But the good news, it looks uh, like I am uh, able to have a sponsor or partner. So there's a Swedish company providing a rooftop tent and uh, things like that. 
that I'm going to do a collaboration with. So that means that the whole summer is going to be yeah, a lot of fishing. Because no point sitting back home tying flies during the summer. Eh? You want to be out close to river doing some nice camping, etc. So that's what the content going to be during the summer. Just going to make sure that wood dog is a bit higher. I don't want it to press down on the, the tail. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so then I can make uh, some uh, nice content next to river, you know, fishing, tying flies there and, uh, you know, cooking and uh, yeah. All those kind of things so, so the content is going to be much bigger and then of course when it's back to to, to late autumn and winter we are back to the fly tying focus because then i don't want to camp of course <laughs> hi dave you're the last one in so Time to apply some more vax and then we have our black uh, ostrich child. I wonder when Daryl uh, uh, took the, you know, first in uh, crown, so to say. Uh, I didn't see a timestamp. <laughs> Let me just add the ostrich hurl. Go tight wraps of this uh, ostrich shirt. I'm gonna go with uh, one more. There we go. Nice and tight. That took some opportunity. Took the opportunity to make some nice uh, golden lace twist. So I used uh, Lagertun, extra small, three strands of it, and did some twist. So that's we, what we're going to use in this fly. Yeah, nice, Dave. Tight lines then, buddy. I guess trout then. So let me see. So this is the one I did. Three strands. Hi, Timothy. How are you? That's the section I'm going to use.
So same here, I'm just gonna use this material. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of white just to even out. Let me see, I'm just gonna have a look. Maybe it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna go over with the thread. I think it's doable. I think we can just just apply the tin cell and then continue tying. I just build up a little bit. There we go. So let's remove this one. Oh, some flat tinsel. So a bit of wax first. Brownies, nice. Okay. Hope hope you can. Yeah, there's a few big ones. And you can use that the uh, black pennant uh, fly. Just adding the flat tin cell. There we are. I'm going to cut that one off. <clears throat> then we're going to add the black hackle that we're going to use. Didn't have time to double it, so I just put it out like that. <clears throat> and this one is disturbing me. So I'm cutting it off. <clears throat> oh, five kilos, that's good. Yeah, butcher, it's a great pattern. And also Alexandra, Alexandria is a good pattern. So. 
just reading up so I don't forget something like yesterday. Uh, see, okay, perfect. Well, actually, I might be able to use this one. So let me first. I'm gonna tie in the hacker, and then I'm gonna add the black silk. Somewhere here is fine. Just a bit of wax and then remove this one. And then we attach the, the silk. I just secure it with a few wraps. Something like that. And I'm just gonna cut the left over there. Okay. So time to work with the silk. As always, it's wrapped around the thread. Going back to the flat silver tinsel and then forward again. the silk in. I'm gonna have a look in the chat in case I missed something. Hi Woodnick, how are you buddy? Then it's time for this uh, twist. Just going to cut a bit there. So I'm just gonna look at the, the pattern. Yeah. Just removing the, the fibers so I don't tie anything in that I don't want to. There we go. Looks quite nice. I did it myself. 
Yeah, and the tail tail gonna be, you know, it's quite clean, I must say. I want it to be tighter to the twist. And then just a few wraps in front. And I'm not going to go with J today since I'm tying them on the 5 0. So I'm going to go with the colored uh, Guinea foam. I was looking at Capricali first, but I'm going with Guinea foam. There we go. Let me see. There we are. Did it find my feather? Yeah, that's nice, Robert. Spring, spring is the best here, really, if you want a big fish. But if you want to have more than yeah, June, July. But I mainly go for for salmon, Atlantic salmon or Baltic salmon. Uh, then of course sea run browns or sea trout, depending on where you are, what you call them. Bit of X to the thread then. Hey Daryl. Oh, you were actually first in the chat anyhow. <laughs> How many hours earlier were you? Oh, I cut the thread, of course. Yeah, yeah, but my wax is good. So I just re-wax the thread. And then just tie the new one in. Thanks a lot for liking the content. Um, feathers are quite hard to find, but uh, you have Feathers MC. <coughs> yeah, correct. Depends on where you are.
Okay, I, I might use it for fishing then. Because it has all the elements that are of interest. Oh, Highlands of Scotland. Cool. That's a nice place in the world. Uh, you have Coxhill uh, in UK. And there's, I think, RM Fishing in Ireland. I think it's in Ireland. Or is it in UK? Uh, then you have Feathers MC. So there's a few options for you, mate. So what I don't like about the Guinea fall is that, you know, it stays together quite a lot. I like the, the, the fibers to, you know, open up. So. Ah, oh, interesting. I didn't know that, Darren. I have, have never thought about it. So he did the switch. Okay. So now it's the hunt for the right length of a uh, tippet. This one might do. And as you see, I'm just... Uh, Flattening the stem a bit with my nail just to get get the straighter line. You're welcome. <clears throat> but the, the best way to start tying classic Selma flies is to choose like a simple pattern with not that many different feathers in. Uh, and then practice on that one because uh, it, it, it is a really expensive hobby, I must say. Oh, this has a better, better length to it. I'm always trying to find a, a tippet that is, uh, has the right length to it. That's why I always do a couple of necks when I steam. It's a really painstaking work. But uh, when you're tying, then you're able to really, you know, select through your feathers and choose one that is, uh, has the, the right length for what you want to do. Let's see what we can do about these two. I think they will play pretty fair to, together. Yeah, not too high. Tight lines, Dave. Have a, have a nice day. Or you never say good luck. <laughs> That's bad. At least in Sweden. But they, uh, you, you might not want him to catch a fish. Looks pretty nice to me. Nice pair. So I'm just gonna equal the length and then measure out where I want to want it to sit. So 
so somewhere there. So from here then. And I can share a good tip or uh, tips. Uh, don't just take this fiber and rip them off. I always cut them. And that leaves small, small barbs that will help so the feather doesn't roll that easy. So give it a try the next time you're tying and see if you notice any difference. Yeah, blind eye uh, hooks you can't find at all in any shop uh, since they're, they're not in production. In, in all my uh, details of my videos, there's a, a, a contact details, an email address to one hook maker in UK, Graham Cully. He makes my hooks, uh, the one I tie on. Uh, <clears throat> so you might, uh, if you get in contact with him, uh, you, he can make you a few most likely. And then you have like uh, eBay and so on, where you can find hooks on, but uh, yeah, they, they are kind of, uh, quite expensive. I need to cut that one a bit more. So something like that. So I'm just gonna tie it in. And it's turning, turning bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna redo that with a more wax to the thread. And also build up a bit more uh, foundation. Because now uh, the Guinea fall was, of course, you know, uh, have a higher point than uh, the rest. <clears throat> Something like that. Yeah, this this shot is uh, uh, a great source of knowledge.
There we are. Much better. I'm just gonna force it a bit. So, coming together. So one funny thing, next step, uh, wing. It's always nice to attach a wing. Been quite lucky the few last times I attached the wing have turned out quite well. So it's always interesting if, to see if that's the case today as well, <laughs> or the complete opposite. You never know. So this is why I don't like uh, Guinea fall. It's just such a boring feather. Oops, there we go. So I just want to make room for, for the wing and the, the sides. Let's <clears throat> keep cleaning up a bit. Yeah, it's a it's a crappy substitute for for yay, really. But I, I was thinking, you know, should I tie on a two O or a three O? Then I can use yay, and then hmm, I thought nah. I tie on a 5 so you guys can see properly. I always look uh, on YouTube uh, on my telly. So then I got uh, like, uh, yeah, 60 inches or something. But not everybody's doing that, so. So this is the wing I built uh, earlier, just to prepare a bit. The fiber coming off. 
that wasn't that funny. I will not be able to attach it. I think. Well, let me redo that then. Yeah, the golden pheasant tail I got is a bit dry. It's time to wet them again. Taking a bath. The second try on that wing. Let me see if uh, it turns out okay. I don't think we get much more tries since it's Amherst and Golden Fe Pheasant in. But yeah, we didn't need any more tries. So. I would say that compacted quite nicely. <clears throat> so Monty, um, I never count fibers. I, I more look at how many colors in, is it in the wing and uh, what kind of uh, natural uh, material. And I took two strands of each color because I and three strands of the uh, Amherst and Golden Pheasant because I want the color just to be less visible in the wing and the, the normal uh, material more, more visible, so to say, if uh, that makes sense, <laughs> what I'm saying. But th there is people out there uh, counting fibers and so on and who has recommendation, but I always just go on feeling, I must say. So I'm just going to add a bit of wax.
Now it looks even. Now that one looks good as well. Better. This is small, small, small gap there, but that's okay. Then we have, uh, let me see, let's read the pattern. We need to have mallard, we need to have gray mallard, jungle cook. So let's start with the, we're gonna use this one. And that one is, let's see if I can use the next section then. Yeah, maybe I give it a try. Or find the right side feather. That's even better because I, I got plenty of this stuff. three, four birds or something. So let me just find another one. Da, 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 da. There we have. So how long was it? Yeah, quite long, so Gonna find long feathers here as well. Hopefully. And so I just need to go for the next bag and next bag. Oh, there we are. Perfect. So this one will be good. I'm just going to remove everything else and put it back in the bag. So. This one had a long and nice one. Yeah, I do fish. Uh, quite a lot of um, feather wings flies, but the, the tubes are always easier. And uh, the issue has been for me that I had uh, little time next to a river. So I'm gonna change that uh, this year and uh, yeah, hopefully fish like five, six weeks. Uh, and then I, uh, I have the time to fish with feather uh, or classic salmon flies much more. 
because if you just have a week you give it a day or two but then you start to you know you don't want to <laughs> run home empty-handed so you get stressed and then you start to put on tube flies and yeah you know the drill Yeah, it, it, most are uh, public water. Uh, requires a license, however, of course. Uh, but I think there is a few private stretches as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's quite decent price to, to fish in the rivers. Uh, the only sad part is that you really need to go quite a long drive up north to to catch rivers without the water plants and so on in it um so i have like an eight hours drive to the first one that i call decent so sweden is a quite large uh, country uh, you might not know that but it's uh, twice the size of uh, UK and Northern Ireland combined together with all the islands and everything. Now the, the angling pressure isn't that high, I would say, because the rivers are very, very long because they start up on the border uh, to Norway and then they, they run down so of course further down to civilization the the, the harder it, it gets so to say more people fishing but if you go far up north and uh, yeah you, you can do the the extra miles find a spot where Nobody been for quite a long time. But you also need to be aware that, uh, you know, in Sweden, we got uh, a lot of uh, forest and so on. That means we got the brown bear, big moose. Uh, so you need to be a bit careful and aware of, uh, of your surroundings. I'm going to wax the thread first. The surroundings is similar to Canada, but uh, not, not with the really huge big mountains. Uh, all of those big mountains are in Norway, but uh, the nature is similar. Ah, uh, that wasn't my intention. I want it higher. Yeah, correct, Daryl. Uh, we don't have the the, the black bears, but but uh, yeah, then, then you're really familiar with the with the nature here. It's the same thing.
So Maladon there and Maladon there. I'm quite pleased with the outcome, I must say. <clears throat> There we go. Reading the pattern, it doesn't state uh, head, but uh, I'm going to go with hurl head. That's hardcore. So, um, yeah, I really like this pattern as well, mate. Haven't tried it before, so it's the first time. Uh, but it's not the last time for sure. Um, we're gonna do GC. Gonna have uh, topping. I'm gonna start with GC, and then we're gonna do cheeks after and toppings and horns. Yeah, <laughs> I not forgot them. Not yet, at least. <laughs> that might change quickly. So. It's a nice yeast here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick out I forgot to pick out the <coughs> Mal, uh, Macau. So I'm going to put that on the table so I don't forget it. Hmm. If I can find them. Oh, there they are. Perfect. Now we have the horns. Yeah, we'll put that one on, on the t-shirt for sure. <laughs> but my God, uh, I'm, I'm adding a, a lot of pictures uh, slowly to uh, that store. But you really need to, you know, work. It's like a two or three days of work in photoshop just to have the picture clean enough to be able to uh, to send them up here yeah, yeah. No, I want it lower, not that high. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, 
I do the same all the time. I forget the horns, always. Yeah, I don't really know why why there's a lot of horns all the all the time on the flies. But the, the Macau gives a really nice shine to the fly. So it, 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 I think it's like an attractor, the same as the GC on the sides. Yeah, and the wing length also turned out good today. Not bad. So I think I'm gonna add uh, this one first. Uh, I go with Pitta instead of Shatter. And then I'm gonna cut everything off and be do the topping and then the horn. And then I haven't decided if I go with a hurly head or just a black head. I think a black cat might be nice, but let's see how it looks when I, I cut everything off. So, one one on the, with the right curve for the other side. And there we go. Ah, too big. Yeah, it did come together quite nicely, the hackle and, and the throat, uh, length wise and volume wise as well, I would say. Oof. Yeah, the. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm not sure I would be able to fish when uh, seeing three grizzlies. <laughs> I, I might uh, have to change underpants or something. <laughs> but I suppose uh, you know if you if you live in the that area, you get used to it. It's normal. There we go. 
<laughs> det är jag som inte det här. Ja. <laughs> yeah, I really love this pattern. Thanks a lot for, for asking me to tie it because uh, I, I don't look into the Kelson book uh, much, but uh, there's a huge amount of patterns there. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. And I like, uh, like the twist I did. It turned out pretty okay. So now I'm just going to start to cut uh, everything away here. And then we're going to look at toppings. Just cleaning up. Yeah, I love the pitta. Uh, it has, has a nice color to it. And, and the good thing with it, it, it stays blue even when wet. Just cleaning up. There we go. So, topping time then, guys. Looking at what we got left, I think... Uh, it's going to be a varnished head. Else it's going to be a bit short to have hurled. I didn't plan for it really. Yeah, it's so, so, so boring with Kingfisher. When it gets wet, it's just completely gray and flat. There. I was looking for my toppings. Way too big. So now is the, the struggle to find a, a small topping. Actually, the pattern states two toppings, but uh, I always keep that open because if I find the right topping that got, got a lot of materials, it might look nicer with one than two. So just gonna pick up. Pick up everything until I find something that is suitable. <clears throat> yeah, it, it can be really nice as well. So I'm just gonna do like clear two, three times, then add uh, black. And maybe clear again on top of that, just to give it a you know really nice shine. Uh, 
they are long, 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 and that's thin. Yes, yes, look. <laughs> so this one might be something. I just gonna look, and then we're gonna. I think it's a bit long though, but I just gonna reshape it so we can have a look. Uh, to be honest, guys, I think that this is the one. Let me work on this one. So I think we will go with one topping because it's going to have a nice flow. I was going to aim a bit. We're going to have quite a steep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's seen me doing so much topping, so he, he might be tired of it. <laughs> That's going to look nice. So let me just tie it in. What do you guys think? Is it too, too high? Should I think I should put it a bit lower, right? Because I think we have a bit too much gap here. So I want to get it closer, but still outwards, so to say. So let me see if I can change that from there. OK. Now to low. I don't want it to meet really. So let me see. Great fishing fly. I, I would say silver gray. Silver gray and thunder and lightning. Those are really, really good patterns. And silver doctor and black doctor. And the green highlander.
still think it's I have a little bit higher. There we go. Now it's better, I think. So the horns, before I forget them. I'm an expert for getting horns and yesterday I was an expert for, for get uh, the the wheeling token <laughs> so let's go with some big ones here That was quite short. That's going to be nice. Yes, one more. Yeah, th thanks a lot for that, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, annoyed about uh, the struggle to, uh, you know, find uh, find a nice uh, camera angle and uh, uh, make sure I had uh, my my hands within the the focal, uh, the, the picture frame and etc. So it it just be was too much and at the same time trying to tie in hand uh, so I, I'm gonna continue to do these kind of videos instead because uh, if I would succeed with uh, making uh, videos like that uh, I need to zoom out and then it's no point really to do a video because you guys will not see anything anyhow So there they are really, horns on, maybe a bit long. Yeah, they're a bit long, I'm gonna shorten them.
I think that's more in line with the, the rest of the fly. Yeah, something like that. So I was going to add a bit of back thread and then I'm going to start to cut everything off and then varnish the head and that's basically it. So that would be Queen of Spring. Thanks a lot for sharing this pattern with me. Um, I really like it. It's a, it's a really nice uh, pattern, indeed. Uh, I, I'm gonna uh, finish it and then take a picture, and of course uh, change the the, uh, the videos uh, uh, picture. So so it's uh, nice. Um, and tomorrow we do uh, Nicholson by Maloch. Uh, looking forward to that as well. Uh, and this one I need to tie a few of uh, on the regular fishing hook, I think. Um, so. Bottom. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, take a video and just uh, roll it and add it on, on the reel. So, so you can see that. Uh, but that's uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, fantastic, nice. Uh, loved it, and it was great fun having uh, the chat going. Uh, you guys are the best. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.